Good afternoon, YouTubers. Welcome to the who knows what's going on to. Anyhow, I was cutting limbs up and I found this tree here and I hit the old moisture meter in it after I cut it in half and we're sitting at 18 on that, even all the way down to the, to the butt end. I don't know what it is down here. Ugh. That's 26 there. That's it, but see it's soft. It's like mushrooms there. Let me see what it is once you get up into the part that went on the ground. Okay, that's 19. That's good enough for my boiler, guys. This thing's getting cut up. You go to boiler wood. 18% uh, is all right for that boiler. 19, it might get, might be a little less. If you knock it down here and let it sit overnight, half of this moisture here is just, uh, just under the bark, holding it a little bit. But for the most part, this would be pretty good it was a good find. I'm happy to find it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to saw it up and then come up with the, um, uh, can't think what I'm thinking of, bobcat in one of those bins and um, collect it. Put it in a tray. Here's, here's some more down there. Um, and there's just, it's big pieces. I can, I can work up in here down at the below, which there's the Jeep barn down there. There's down the, over top of that hill is the regular barn. Uh, where is it? I can't even see it. What am I looking at? Oh, oh, it's right down there. You can see the roof. The old sawmill, you can catch a corner of it there to give you an idea. The house is way up that way. And down there in the mud pit, wood yard, is... Um, that. Well, that just kind of gives you an idea of the, the directions. Uh, I'm going to try to sit you up here in a place that is maybe not as hard to maybe you can see a little bit better you're going to be you're going to be like me a little crooked or a little a little off kilter i'm trying to find the lid for this thing there i found it. this is just one i keep in the uh in the thing what does it say the temperature is? somehow you can get the temperature here it says it's 46 i don't think it's 46 it might be i don't know don't really care. I'm going to cut it up anyway. i got to figure out how to turn this thing off. Turn it off. Come on, thing go off. There it goes. Anyhow, I'm going to be using my baby saw, which people laugh at me. But if you're if you're into woods, I don't know where, whether you're in this or not. This is a MS-201 top. I think that means top saw, and the C, I think, means computer-controlled. These things are light and real balanced, so you can zip down a piece of wood like this. I don't see any point in bringing a, a big monster chainsaw out here. And here, here's some of the reasons, guys. This itty bitty blade, but that's a good size. I think, I think it might be a 10 inch blade, it might be a 12 inch blade, I don't know, it's pretty wore out. These blades here don't cost hardly anything. So if I dig into dirt, which when you're working on frozen ground, dirt is like a file on these chainsaw blades. But um, this little saw cut pretty fast. Like I said, it's an old, old tired blade. Doesn't take you half the time to sharpen a short blade. Doesn't wear you out because you can sit there and, you know, play with this thing all day long. And what you get in the big stuff, get the big saw out. But little stuff like this, you know, you're just killing yourself. And uh, this will cut. This will cut fine enough. It's already warmed up because I cut these two pieces off just to see if the, see if what the content was. So. We're going to, uh, I got this crown marker that, you know, marks it. I'm on the wrong side of it. And you can't see me going up it after I get to that point anyhow. And actually with uh, one this tree this small, you really don't even need that. You can just go down there with a stick. So I'm going to put that in my pocket. I'm going to fire the chainsaw up. I don't even have my mittens with me. So I think you're in there. Hey, yeah, we'll get a few cuts that way. All right, let's see. Oh, there are my mittens. Ah, poor old kitten lost his mittens. I'll cut this up, then I'll bring one of those um, boxes up and just put the wood right in the box. If that thing at 19 in the center, um, it's ready to burn, like I said, right now. Hopefully, uh, it cooled down. It's, it's colder than you think out here.
camera already. Let's see. All right, just about out of the camera. It's kind of shaky. It's on a hill here that's, I don't know how to tell you how big it is. up a little bit closer. See you again. But you're on a heck of a hill here because I'm on a heck of a hill. I left the space here because I don't want to cut and take a chance of damage in that tree even though it might be on its way out anyway. So I'll get the next cut. I have to put a little uh, little separator in there I think. There's something on this tree right next to me. Man, you guys are gonna fall over here. Poison ivy run. That's what's the nice thing about the wintertime. You can mess with this stuff. It didn't look like it was too active. I might have hit it a year ago. This time of the year, there's another one over there. This time of the year, when I have all my monkey suit and stuff on, I uh, have a tendency to get those off. this property there was so much poison ivy in these woods you're afraid to walk and I catch it bad enough that I have to get your cortisone shots for it but I've got to clear down to just a little bit of nothing now I to get a few more shots of this thing
through here. on the wrong side it's not a comfortable side for me to saw on but sometimes that's what you got to do
not too bad. I'll, like I said, go get the basket and pick it up, and I'll give you a, a five-minute follow-up on after I load it, or maybe a little bit after I load it. I don't use a pickaroon to pick it up. I pick it up by my by my good old hands and back, and it goes on on down that way. We've talked about picking up wood with pickaroons and how I really don't think it's good for your back, so we're not going to get into that too much today, but I think your back needs all the exercise it can get. But I think I'm going to get rid of this limb right here because you can't see it. It hooked up on the camera. It was right at head height. Hickory. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's still going. It was uh, right at head height, but I can come I can come right up here with the uh, bobcat and the basket and throw all this in the basket. And like I said, it's running 18%, so I'm not going to even bother splitting it. Now, I might throw the stump in there, too. I'll burn everything. All right, well, that's it for this video. Trying to get you something, but I, I think I got another one. I don't know where I'm at, but this is more interesting than all that mousetrap videos. I caught three more mice last night. That puts me up to 50. So anyhow, over and out for this one here. Do me a favor, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and remember, I think I put that video out where I said how I'm, I'm looking, at, looking at hitting everybody alike. Whether I like it or not, I hit the thumbs up. As soon as I turn on a video, I hit the thumbs up. So as soon as you turn this video on, which is too late now, hit the thumbs up. So anyhow, I'm, all, I'm always backwards. We'll see you later, guys. Bye.